what we're going to do is pop uh, a drill hole somewhere in here. We're thinking this area here, bedrock's the, the best exposed. And we're going to go underneath this way. Uh, there's an ore body or a block of sulfides located under this mess of rock that the grader pushed over it. We are almost ready to go. We got both bits sharpened. Our water jugs are full and we got our drill string ready to go. So let's get to drilling. We'll see exactly what we get. We've pulled out a few samples from that area. So Hopefully we can intercept some mineralization. I'll show you what we drilled out of here. A big hunk broke off. You can see there's sulfides in there. Nice big band. So in our hole, we are down a little ways and uh, we've got the core laid out. Um, it's really broken up, but I'm seeing some nice chalcopyrite. Um, there's some quartz in there. We're going to do another one of these sections and then we'll take a look at the core. We're down about 1.75 meters. So this is the beginning of the core here. There's a lot of fractures. There's a lot of silt like this that we were pulling up. Uh, but you have some mineralization in the first 30 centimeters. And then sporadic disseminations and patches of chalcopyrite. Right here, you hit some quartz and you can see you got some semi-massive chalcopyrite, which continues all through it here. A little bit of a break, a little bit more sulfides. From what I'm seeing, it's mostly chalcopyrite and uh, there's a little bit of pyrite. So there's some decent chunks coming up. It's too bad it's not all solid core, but that's what happens when uh, the bedrock is really fractured. So you got more chalcopyrite right there. And uh, this is where we've stopped. So we're gonna continue and uh, keep drilling. So we're now effectively about three meters down and uh, we've got some massive sulfides here. It's only in a small stretch of the hole but uh, it's definitely massive chalcopyrite. I keep having to clear this area off because there's so much silt washing into the hole. We're down three meters now, three meters, 10 centimeters. But when we were clearing this off, we noticed running through here, we have a vein of massive sulfides. It's not very thick. It's seven centimeters at the widest point, but nonetheless, it is massive chalcopyrite. We're gonna hammer some samples off there as well. We'll show you guys at the end uh, what we got. We went another 10 centimeters. This is how it turns out every single time. Silty, muddy, and it clogs the drill string, but we're still taking this out and uh, we're putting it in our line here. Here is what I mean. You have all this mud coming out, but you have little chunks of massive sulfides. And look at this one. Gorgeous. Lots of malachite in there as well. 
so we'll wash off all the silt. We'll keep all the rock chips for our core. We have more mud. We've got a little bit of core recovery here. We're into some quartz, calcopyrite, and a little bit of pyrite. There's malachite. All right, so we're going to pull out uh, the last bit of core here. Take a look at the entire thing, and then we'll show some samples that we hammered from right in here. We got some core left in there. We have 3.85 meters of hole drilled. We got about 70% core recovery. Looks like there's small veins in between volcanics. These are quartz veins, but there's also mineralization in this gray silicus unit here. And uh, most of the mineralization is, however, confined to um, the quartz, but there is massive pods or massive vein-like structures down there that we got a meter consecutive meter of massive sulfides here you can see just gorgeous calcopyrite again the hole was very very fractured and broken up but uh, we got some decent recovery Nonetheless, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bag these sections in half meter sections and um, we'll be storing this in case we send this to the lab in the future. Here's the drill hole. I said we we're going to show some samples that we pulled off. We took a whole bunch of samples in this strip here. It was really oxidized. You had material like this deteriorated and there's some massive calcopyrite running all throughout here in sporadic amounts and in a vein and here we have the samples you can see calcopyrite with quartz and you have your deteriorated host rock couple larger pieces you can see the quartz in the background your calcopyrite and pyrite following the quartz here is a larger chunk of the vein and another piece here So that's it. We're going to bag these samples as well in case they go to the lab. And that is the copper showing drill hole number one here.